Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Dollar Tree fall DIY on how to make this beautiful floral wreath. So stick around to see how I made this gorgeous wreath on an affordable budget. Okay guys, so these are all of the items that you are going to need to make this fall floral wreath. Like I said, everything was purchased from Dollar Tree other than my hot glue gun and my hot glue sticks. So the first thing you are going to need is a hot glue gun. Then you are going to need some wire cutters. You're also going to need a wire wreath or a foam wreath, whichever you prefer. This time around, I decided to go with a wire one. Then you are going to need anything that you would like to put into the center of your wreath or you can leave it blank, it is up to you. And then the last thing you are going to need are some flowers of your choice. I decided to go with three different colors so you can choose any style and any color of your choice. So the first thing I did was just remove the tag from my wire wreath and then I removed the saying that I wanted to go in the center of my wreath which was welcome. And then here you see me just pulling off all of the leaves and all the flowers from the stems. It is very easy to pull off. When you pull off the leaves remember to save those because we are going to be using it in our DIY. So I'm just going to continue pulling all the flowers and all the leaves off until I am done. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is remove all the plastic pieces from the center of the leaves. On the leaves, there's a little plastic part. I'm just gonna remove that because I feel like by removing that, it'll be easier to glue the leaves down to the wreath. The first step I am going to be doing is adding a little bit of glue to the green leaf. And I am going to glue that in the center of the wreath. So the first wire part that you see in the center, I am just gonna go all the way around until I'm completely done gluing all of the leaves to it. You are going to repeat this step until you are completely done gluing down all of your leaves to the center of the wreath. Okay guys, so here you see me cutting the leaves and basically what I'm doing is just cutting it so it is single leaves. Each leaf has a total of three on it and I wanted the outer part to have just single ones instead of them being bunched up. So that is what I did and I'm now going to glue all of those single leaves to the outer wire of this wreath. So the very last wire part, just glue all of the leaves to that part until you are completely done. Next, I'm going to add a generous amount of glue to the back of my flowers, and I am going to add about three to four flowers for each little section, and I'm going to go by different colors. So here I'm doing more of like the orange color, and then I will switch over to a yellow color, and then the burgundy color, and like I said, I did do about four flowers for each little section. Now just continue this step until you are completely done adding all the flowers to your wreath, and your wreath is nice and full. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go all around the wreath and wherever I feel like there's an empty spot or just looks bare, I'm going to add a few more flowers to those areas. Now you can decide to skip this step, but just me personally, I like my wreaths to be nice and full. So like I said, I'm just gonna go all the way around and add some more flowers wherever I feel like they should be added. Now 
Now my last and final step is I'm going to take this little welcome sign and I am going to glue that to the center of my wreath with a little bit of the glue from the hot glue gun. Okay guys, so this is how my fall wreath DIY turned out. I think it turned out beautiful. I am in love with it. And the total cost for this wreath was only $11, guys, which I think is an amazing deal because if you were to go to any other store, you would definitely spend more than $11 for a full wreath like this. So this is the end result of how it turned out. Hope you guys enjoyed today's DIY video. If you did, please remember to give this video a big thumbs up. And also, if you have not already, I would really love if you would subscribe to my channel and join me and my YouTube family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching.